It's hard to think about it when you really start to think about it, but Vauban Prime's helmet does look very much like a train. Of course, there is reasoning for that, which we're not going to get into, but the Prime Resurgence has changed. It is Atlas Prime and Vauban Prime, with probably slightly more important Death Cube Prime. Yes, another Prime Sentinel, but the only Prime Sentinel currently dropping in the whole game, because the rest of them are all vaulted. And Death Cube Prime is actually a pretty decent Sentinel. Which means a visit over to Moreau's Bazaar. Because bizarrely enough, Vozai, the trader, the relic trader, whatever she actually goes by, is in fact on Maru's Bazaar over to the left here, and to get a hold of the relics for this, you have See, to go to browse ways relics, and ignore to the top view, view, because what you will be interested in is the relics, because one ayah will get you the relic that you are looking for. There's no need to go hunting these relics out anyway. You do have to hunt out the ayah, but you can open... Relic packs from the Syndicate drop them. Bounties in pretty much every open world can also drop them. My record was two dropped at once. It's a shame they're kind of not included by the double resource booster, otherwise would have got more. But didn't have one active at the time, got two. And have tried since, and uh, maybe one day they'll have it affected by that since it is technically a mission reward, but at the same time it's a mission reward, it doesn't drop randomly, so sadly, yeah, you can only get these kind of one at a time, but do a five stage bounty, you have five chances to get a hold of one. That's one, aya. Ah, yeah. And then you take that and you just come pick up the relic that you are looking for. That doesn't have one on, and there you go, death cube prime parts on there, and you just... Increase the rarity of the relic, so uncommon off. is so more no common, and you have a chance to get it. it. I love the Prime Resurgence for that, because you don't have to go and form a mission over and 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 over again to kind of get the actual relic to drop. It can be super annoying doing it that way, which is why I kind of prefer the Prime Resurgence over the Prime Vault. Of course there is the Noggles that go with the Prime Frames that you can pick up, but the only way to get these is to use Regal Eye, Which is why I said ignore the built ones at the top, because you need Regal Eye to do that, and you can only get that by actually buying it. You can't trade for it. But Death Cube... Oh, he is actually worth getting a hold of, because his weapon is really really useful. The Death Machine Rifle used to be one of the better Sentinel-based weapons, but everybody kind of runs Kavats these days anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but once upon a time, well, Carrier was the most used Sentinel, but Death Cube was better. It's just the vacuum mod didn't used to be universal, whereas it is now. As soon as it was, I went to using Death Cube. And be honest with yourselves, if you played for that long and you remember those days, when's the last time you actually used Carrier outside of his ammo gaining abilities? The rest of the time you use other Sentinels because they're just better. And his? Yeah, that laser he shoots for Vaporize can be insanely useful. And again, he's the only Sentinel dropping in the game. There is of course the Fragor Prime that has returned and the dual wielding stiletto primes. That's it. Well, <laughs> I'm kind of ignoring the Teko prime here because when it comes to prime melees, they, yeah, okay, the good with the one attack speed and the 180 damage, but I would much, much rather use the hammer. Out of the two weapons he has brought, when it comes to melee, it may be a little bit slower, but throw fury on it and this is way better. Plus 50% crit chance versus... 40% crit chance versus 30. It's just better in every way. And of course, to get the relics for anything, you just have to pick one up for one ayah instead of farming it over and over and over again. Ah, see, that this time it was shorter. 
And I do love their little paths to primes at the bottom. Step one, gather iron. Bounties and relic pack. Step two, exchange it for the relic, then crack the relic open, craft the primes you get from it, and enjoy the prime loot. So much easier than step one, spend hours forming one relic. Step two, open the relic. Step one, uh, well, it should say, repeat step one repetitively just in case you don't get what you are looking for. So you're kind of stuck on step one, forming the relic for ages. This way is just so much easier. And the Regal Air, they did fix it and it does in fact come with Platinum now. So if you are buying Platinum anyway, then may as well do that. And then you've got the Air uh, Spare just in case you want to pick up the Prime Noggles. They are there, but... All of the relics are currently available in-game for Atlas Prime, who is a pretty decent Prime frame. Vorban Prime, one of the better Prime frames. Teko Prime, Death Cube Prime, Dual Wielding Stiletto Primes, and Frago Prime. The accessories, technically, you can also pick these up. There is a Sandana, but the only way to get the accessories, the Death Cube kind of armor set does look much better than I remember this looking. Be 100% honest there, I don't remember it looking that good. They will cost you Regal Eye. There is a second, there it is. Let's see, there's a second Sandana. Just like the Prime Vault, or the Prime Unvaulting, you've got to purchase the accessories That's with real money, but this time around the real money the is buying the Regal Eye from the website. So, Get in, pick up your Atlas Prime parts, Vorban Prime parts, the Teko Prime parts. Even if you just form the Aya to pick up the relics, you can open them at any time. Until the end of February when it will change to the next one. And with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.